So, flying at the flying field, there's no better way to spend an afternoon. And if you got an airplane that you've just put together, there's a few things that you're going to want to do to get the most performance out of it. The first thing, of course, is balancing it. You want to read the instructions and make sure that you have your model properly balanced. And once you take off, of course, you want to trim it so it'll fly straight and level. You have an airplane when you're taking off it's going up and it almost goes up by itself you really don't have to do anything but once you're at altitude you want to throttle back to about a third to a half power and then trim it so the airplane flies straight and level once you have this taken care of the next thing you're going to want to do is to adjust it so you can roll it and make turns with it flying smoothly so we're, when we're talking about setting up your airplane so it'll fly smoothly while it's rolling and while it's in a turn, what we're talking about is minimizing or eliminating adverse yaw. When you have an airplane, like this little one here, and you roll left to right, back and forth, in a straight line, if you had adverse yaw, what happens is, as the airplane rolls in one direction, the nose will go in the other direction. This is also better uh, explained is when you're flying and you look at your airplane in a turn, it looks like it's dragging its tail. So to avoid this and to eliminate it, there's two ways we can do it. One is with uh, aileron differential and the other one would be with aileron to rudder mixing. So it doesn't really matter what type of radio you have as long as you have the, uh, the proper mixing. And so for aileron differential, you have to have an airplane with two aileron servos, one for each control surface. Then, once you have your programming done, as you can see, when we move the stick, the aileron will go up higher than it does when it goes down. And that's back and forth on both sides of the wing. If I move the stick to the right, the right aileron goes up quite a bit. But over here, the left aileron is going down just a little bit. And the other way is uh, the same thing. In a left turn, the left aileron goes up a lot, and the right aileron just goes down a little bit. What this does is it adds more drag to the wing that's on the inside of your roll, or the inside of your turn and then that keeps the tail up high so it follows and you fly smoothly. The second way that we would do this is with mixing that takes the command of the aileron and applies a little bit to the rudder. So right now I'm using rudder you can see we have rudder control and then here moving the aileron by itself there's no input but by Flipping the switch, when I move the aileron stick, you can see now that we have just a little bit of the rudder moving as well. When it gets to uh, the final trimming and doing the fine tuning, you do that while you're test flying the airplane. So with um, aileron differential, you want to set with about 20 to 25 percent as a starting point, go up and fly and see how it works. And when it comes to aileron to rudder mixing, you want to start with 10 to 15 percent and do the same thing. Fly the airplane and see how it works. Once you have it, everything dialed in, the airplane's going to fly great and you're going to have a lot of fun.